Hi, my name is Jean Ferriller, JPH Productions here, man. Today I'm gonna show you how you can just put a sticker on the bus and the bus still driving and running on the middle of the street. Anyway, it's driving, the sticker stay with it. Then I'm doing that with After Effects, man. That's why. After Effects 2020, stay tuned, man. That's why. So now open it. Uh, let's see, open. Okay, cool. It's already a new project right here. Uh, and then click on that. I'm gonna looking for my foliage that I need. I need a bus, uh, bus voltage. I like that one. Okay, open it. Footage is here. And I'm gonna get uh, another thing again on my desktop. Let me get one of my logo and open it. Now I got two things right here, okay? And then I grab the footage and put it here. And then automatically it's coming here. I'm gonna take exactly where I really wanna start the bus driving. And like that bus, let me, that bus pass in front of from here. I'm gonna cut it from here. Then I like the beginning of it from here. Oh, not too much. Let it stay here. Okay, let's see the end of it. And the bus pass right here and finish right here. And then let me make it shorter. Try to keep that video very quick. It's so I'm making it kind of easy to make for you. Let me show right here. And then I just make everything exactly the size that I want it. And then, then when I let me play it to see what I want. The bus coming here. By the time the bus is coming, and I'm gonna pass and gone. But what I'm trying to do now, I'm gonna put my logo right here on the bus right here. To do so, let me show you exactly how to do it. Okay, when you come in here, you're going to right here, window, and you're gonna looking for tracker. And your tracker is supposed to come in here on that. As soon as you put tracker, now I undo it, but as soon as you put tracker, and your tracker coming here. But the best thing you go into, you're gonna get a track camera. That's what you're gonna get. You press track camera, leave that thing from the beginning, track camera, it's gonna track in it right now. But it's not gonna take, uh, now it's analyze the frames. It's about 279 frames. That's why it's tried to put them together and track all of them. That's why it's doing right now. Um, yeah, that's the way you're doing stuff like that. But it's about, it's not gonna take long but it's gonna analyze it pretty good. Uh, it's about 200, which if you're looking at it right here, you keep going. Let me make uh, my thing bigger. That's good. Now, <clears throat> what I wanna do, you see all those little tracking, you see, that's why I really wanna put my, uh, the logo somewhere. I think this one pretty good. You have to be flat and surface. Sometimes you come in on three, you see it? And you see, like, I like this one. Okay, I click on it, and then, well, so now I click on, now click, I put control and click, I need only create solid in camera. I click on it, it's created. So I create it, and I go back here on top. You see, I go back here on top, and then I control and click on it, and then I go to pre-compose, okay? So you go to pre-compose, you click on it, and then you say, okay. You pre-compose that layer, and you click on it. It's open this thing for you here. But right here, what you're gonna do, you don't need this. I delete it, and I'm going to composition. So you go into composition setting. I think my video is, uh, okay, 1920 by 1080. Okay, and then you say, okay. So you do that, and you go back to, that's good. And I'm going back to my project. You see my logo was here. I grab it and drop it here. So now I drop my logo here and go back here. You see, my logo cut automatically stay stuck in, on the bus. But now I'm gonna size my logo the way I want it on the bus, open it. And then I can 
even let it sit where I want it to. Like, right? okay, let me put it right here, example. But let me open it a little bit while, like, to make it fit in the boss. But sometimes what I do, I go back to Photoshop and then already design exactly the way I want it. But now I want to rotate it a little bit right here to make it sit down right here on that frame. Let me make it a little bit smaller right here. Good. And then uh, what I really want to do now, <clears throat> come back here. Okay. And then uh, open up from the track. Compose, I open it, transform. The free transfer now i can rotate it a little bit if i want to fix it to the line make it feel perfect with the boss here we go i think um it's pretty cool i really want to leave it on the line like you see the line of the boss uh at least sometimes i have to spend time with things like that and let them cool now if i play the boss all the way from the beginning look at what happened the logo stick with the boss that's what i was going to show you look you see the logo stay with the bus too until it's take off. Gone. You see? That's the way you achieve those kind of things. That the bus has been running. And then uh, you can take a nice footage from the bus keep running. Uh, uh, yeah, nice distance as long as analyze your thing. And then you stick it with it. If you don't understand it, play the video over and over. It's easy to do. And then that's why today I really want to show you guys how to do that on After Effects. And I got more stuff coming on After Effects. If you like what I just show you right now, leave a comment. And also ring the bell, man, because I always got new stuff coming every week, like I said. And, you know, it's cool. And again, like I say again, my name is Jean by the name of JPH Productions here, man. That's all. See you next time. Bye.